After a rejection this week, a group is once again trying to get an initiative on the ballot to let voters decide if the so-called period tax should be done away with in Arkansas. But this time, they're adding another item to that list, diapers. THV 11's Ashley Godwin spoke with supporters about this change. Tuesday, the attorney general rejected the ballot title for the first initiative sponsored by attorney David Couch and the Arkansas Period Poverty Project. Now they are trying again with more people in mind. And I thought that this was just something that would be uh, a really good issue to bring public awareness to it. This new ballot initiative hopes to ask voters whether or not they want to have a sales tax on feminine hygiene products, but they also included something else. And wanted to know about the possibility of adding diapers to it. Diapers for children and adults. In a statement from Arkansas Period Poverty Project, they said they took a poll with supporters to see if diapers would be beneficial to add. They found 72% wanted them included in the ballot initiative. Diapers are so expensive, so if you're, you know, uh, uh, having to pay a working mom and you having to pay for daycare and you having to pay for diapers, I mean, you know, if you can save a couple of dollars a day on diapers, then, you know, that goes to help with a healthy breakfast. But in the terms of just the overall state budget, no, it's not close to 1%. The state estimates that the sales tax on feminine hygiene products generates more than $2 million in revenue. That's less than 1% of the budget. You know, to me, that's just more money in, in the pocket of working families in Arkansas. The attorney general has 10 days to review the ballot title and make a decision. Attorney Couch says if it's approved, they will move on to collecting signatures for the petition.